What's up guys, Sergeant Mintas here with my friend Josh Evans. In this video, you will learn how to reapply your thermal compound correctly to your center process unit. Then we'll do some testing on my PC. Then we'll go out and look at some stills of Josh's GTX 70 Ti's from EVGA. Then we'll do some testing on Josh's PC and we'll do some gaming. So guys, stick around and check the video out. Thank you. What we have here is, is a i7-3820 core. Basically when you do a thermal compound, because I'm heat spikes, just rub all this stuff off once, get it nice and clean. All of use the appropriate tools. Yeah, they're going to use a lot of lint cloth to do so, so you don't get any uh, debris or any, you know, crap inside the uh, motherboard. That was clean already. But we got some uh, two-stage thermal cleaning as well. To do yet. <clears throat> Basically you clean it with this first, and then after it's clean and dry, you apply that to it, and dry it off again, and that will um, make the metal extra clean and slippery for a better thermal contact. And we had a choice from two different uh, compounds. We got Zalman Super Thermal Grease, or we got Arctic Silver, and uh, Sergeant Amintez wants to use Arctic Silver, apparently. Yeah? Yep. I like silver is the more denser thermal compound. It takes a while to go off, but it is uh, it is better. You know, you're using good stuff because it is quite expensive. It's been bubbling a lot in there. Yeah. <laughs> As you can see, we got all knocked to a heat sink. What model number is this one? Sorry? I don't know. Is it DH14 or DH12? I think it says on there, do it. No. Oh, it's a very good one. It's a twin cooling on that. It has uh, 12 pipes. Six active, isn't it? What's that? Six active pipes. And 12 together. Yeah. I see the film compound is definitely broken down. It's all dried up, terrible. All that overclocking. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. <laughs> like, polishing is only recommended if you were. Uh, do on the IHS. Hmm. To completely take it off. But right. So play the first one. This stuff does stink, man. It ain't bad for it, it does stink. It ain't bad, this is the most metal compound in it. Buff out a little bit, let it dry. There's a dry part of the ride in it, it's just so super new. Nice and clean now. Right. I think that one, it smells. Could you do them back to front now, I didn't do it. Purify now, this will uh, help the thermal compound stick better, have uh, better thermal contact. I'm fine the other day, so I used it on my, uh, on my PC, but what can I do? So this stuff, that works quite fast. Try to get out of it. But you can see it actually sticking and staying in the metal. You see the residue leaves on it? Looks nice and clean. I'm use all my attic silver now on this big CPU. We're going to do a line method. I would say. Put start from there, down to there. I think it should be enough. The dragon. Just do an X. See? I'll do an X then, or some sort of X. It doesn't, doesn't have to be perfect, like. No, it doesn't have to be too thick, because uh, if you can imagine the pressure we're going to apply to this. Come on. As long as it's there, it's there. The actual edges. It's always 
put the actual in the center so you need a good spread in the center. Here's our axe, I'm going to just do a little bit in the, in the heat sink as well. Not too much so, just do this stuff as I do it, you've got to spread this stuff. Man. It's too thick. Man. Yeah, it's plenty of those. Got a bit of marks on them. The dust shows it straight away, doesn't it? And the light. Yeah, right, which way you are on this one? And it's sort of not to us. Yeah, that's right. Just do a little crush in that. Lift it back up to see what kind of contact we got. Yeah, it's good contact. As soon as you squat down, you'll see it go all across the. That was about playing. To the edge. Yeah, that was about playing that X pack formation. Yeah. Let's try and squeeze down the you know? I still think not two of the best uh, air coolers on the market, to be honest. I had this cooler before you did, and it was, well, it was really good, really good. It was really happy with it. It's nice and solid, massage. That was tight, though. Yeah. We've done spikes between 70 and 50 you knots know, on different cores. So it shouldn't be happening. I think it's like dust between the sinks, you know, so you can serve like an effective view. Nah, no, it looks like dust, but it's just uh, condensed dust. I'm going to give my. Uh, Speed. What's the ones? I take these off, right? Yeah, I got it. It's hard work, this stuff is on. Would free be better or no? You can put three on for one, but we haven't got another clip like that. Put one in the middle. Yeah, put one, slide one in the centre if you want to. Yeah. And then, uh, like, throw on the edges. But do you need your case fans or no? I got plenty. So, do you want to blow in that way? Yeah, straight out. I did bring a the three pin or four pin. The three pin. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's right. Just gonna sit there nicely. That'd be nice one. Yeah. Do that for that. That nice this one. should be a bit of a tape them on the fans. Yeah, I got double side tape. Use a leader font. Have you that? Yep. That's pretty cool. One. Right. Yeah, I thought so. Looks like I have to take the rubber grommets out of these. Not do that. Big one, no, no. Yes, yeah, the rubber grommets are quite thick, and I gotta go all the way through like that. See, so you only got much, you only got a little like, gap there. Yeah. So I gotta remove these rubber grommets. They just rubber. I'm facing down like that, so I'll remove this one. I got a more four. Sounds like. So I'll do a pause the video now, I'll bring up these grommets and then we'll show you. So then, we're putting the last fan in now. Change a bit of configuration. Yeah, we've got a different configuration. What we noticed on these fans, we could uh, use these uh, clips on these fans because the rubbers are too thick. We've got these little grommets to go through. So you keep the other two ones in the center and the back. Which is on there. Okay. So you can't throw it last time it was 70 degrees at 4.8 kilohertz. Yeah. Alright. I'm booting up. I'm running one bench and one test. We have got a nice steady 67 Celsius at a 4.8 gigahertz old clock at 1.39 V4. Which is pretty impressive isn't it? For yeah. equal. <laughs> Just a bit of compound. <laughs> yep. We come back now, see if we can push a bit more. A bit more. A bit of a base to what it is. Nina, 4.9 for you. 
Sugar Sugar doing a minute, Josh can do a old uh, thermal compound update on your uh, GTX N80. Okay guys, we're back uh, with Josh Evans and Sergeant Mintaz. As you can see, we've got our cards installed. You saw uh, later on the video, we um, changed the thermal compound on both Grav's cards with Arctic Silver and uh, cleaned them with um, what's it? two, two way uh, thermal remover. Yep. This is the fan setup I got now. I did have three fans on top right here now, but I found a better configuration again. So this is uh, my configuration. You see, got the new uh, uh, what is it? Uh, F12. F12. PWM. Yeah, 3000 on the, the back now. Industrial. In. And this one's also blowing up. And these are blowing up as well. So it's creating a massive vortex inside the case, keeping everything cool inside the case. And we have noticed a massive difference in the temperatures. The RAM, even now, is it's just cold. It's nice. This is the fans that I went for after. We added the fans on top again. It did help a lot with the push call configuration. We added one more to the fans in the front. And then we put the main core set fans in. So we just did a benchmark now on 3D Mark, on Future Mark. And our first result was 170990. See there. If you look at the core part, it's at 1050, uh, 1025 on the memory. We haven't increased the voltage or anything, the voltage is standard speeds like. And if I go on the highest one we just got here now, it's 1794, our latest one. Go on details. As you can see, we've got our. Um, yeah, we got a hand pitch. One ten. Yeah, one ten. One sixty. So we increased the base block by like sixty. Only sixty. And managed to get an extra five hundred points on the benchmark. As you can see here, it says this score one thousand seven hundred eighty. Uh, seven thousand eight hundred ninety-four. Better than ninety-nine percent of all results. <laughs> A uh, high-end game PC averages 9131, so we're almost double the speed of a high-end game PC. And they, they class a high-end game PC as i4770K, so we're roughly about, uh, say, 4 gigahertz normal clock speed, isn't it? Yep, and so you just build Yeah, with a boost. Yep. And a higher game PC will be overclocked, so you could class that as 4.5 gigahertz. And then you got NVIDIA then, GTX Titan, which is just slightly slower than the 780 Ti. If you look at my spec, we're still looking at a two thousand pound PC anyway. Yeah, uh, that's right. And I got a GTX 70 Ti times two, and then it's like the 87 on the board. Gaming laptop, the other <laughs> office PC. Yeah. There we go. There's our processor speed, four seven five one. Not too bad. Temperatures reaching now. 80 degrees maximum, and that's Max. fully benched. That's not bad. On a benchmark like this, it's not very CPU demanding, but it does use the CPU. And again, you get about 60 to 70. Not too bad. I think that's the standard speed on the Triple. Triple. No, quad. Okay. Right, but, um, Bad result. Okay, results. Good. Yeah. 
pushing the tank with my other. These are uh, overclock on our drop stats. As you can see, I play power tank target with my 6%, and my GPU tank target with my power seat. So it doesn't even reach 65 yet. So I can max out on the drop stats. I have 30 plus on the core, and I have a bit of memory. I don't feel like I've got an enemy more, but it might they just import more damage in the market. Look at that, 20 C idle on the graphics cards, and that's with a 40% fan speed. <laughs> I don't know if anything's low on the all the fans are low, innit? Yep. We can bump it up now and it'll probably <laughs> go to like 25 C. The top car is a bit harder because obviously it's using using this processing to do the screen. So the other one's just being lazy on it. Still read the temperature, they just see the temperature on idle. 4.753, 333 C, and if you do a task, it will open the 3840. Should I just want a quick benchmark showing the temperature? Yep. I'm going to use. Let's use the other side. Let's use the other side. Quick benchmark, we're looking about what? 1100? 1100? 1100? 1200. Fans kick up by the man. Unless you like instantly that cool, then that's good. Mm. It's a very demanding benchmark. It's actually more accurate than LCCT. Yeah. Really good. You found me crashed more than this than LCCT, do you mean? Yeah. Because it was, it's much more accurate, it is. It does test the, the limits of the, the CPU. Well, LCCT pushed it more than the original 100% with 105% of the mm. bubble top. Yeah, <laughs> There's only five short times here. This year, constant average temperature there is uh, 75 C at the moment, 83. It's not too bad. 12 12, what did I say? Good luck. <laughs> Very accurate, like. 87 C max out, but that was like an old peak though, so I don't think too much. Not too bad. Go wait for the thermal compound and kick it properly and set off. Yeah, take a little break for 5, 5 C and That's it, thanks for watching.